We've tried to frame this the following way over the last few weeks, whether this move in the bond market is a reflection of resilience, an extension of the cycle, or a recipe for the end of it. Based on the moves in consumer discretionary, is it the latter and not the former? I think it's the latter, and I think one of the big shifts over the last, let's say, four or five weeks as bond yields have made this last leg higher is that it's no longer being accompanied with cyclical leadership. You know, if you think about most of the year, it was bond yields up, but cyclicals over defensives. That changed in about mid-July when we began to really see the weakness in discretionary. We began to see some softness in industrials. It first really began in Europe. If you look at the European luxury stocks or European discretionary, uh, that has now spread here. So I think you have to ask the question, is this last move up in yields the signal that we're end of cycle? And I suspect it probably is. So is that a signal to buy, given this move we've seen in yields by the long end? <laughs> you know, it's funny. We... Uh, we thought about this a lot. You know, most in this business have spent their whole career waiting for bond yields to go up. And now it's finally happened, and all people are clamoring to do is to buy bonds. I think it's too early. Just a pure technical read of the charts gets me something like 510, yep. 520 on 10s. I don't know if we get there or not, but we've had one mantra all year. The trend in yield is up until the market suggests otherwise, and the market has not suggested otherwise right. here yet.